Hey everyone, uh, today I am going to show you how to set up Jenkins in your Windows machine. Uh, before getting started, uh, let me tell you what Jenkins is. Jenkins is actually a popular build server. It's it also an open source software. Uh, using that you can build your project, let's say a, a, a .NET project or an Android project. Also you can run the test case and there are several plugin available in the market which using that you can do various kind of activities we'll talk about this later now let's get started to install jenkins in your windows machine you will need that jenkins.war file you will get from the jenkins website jenkins-ci.org and you have to click on windows so now uh, Jenkins, uh, we are getting that zip file, which will contain that Jenkins.org file. And uh, I already uh, downloaded this OR file. So uh, let's not download it again. Also, you will need to have the Java setup in your machine. Uh, those who have not uh, set up the, the Java in their machine yet, so they will get the Java uh, in the Oracle website. So here you will have to accept the license agreement and for 64b2 windows you will get the jdk from here so for me also java also uh, setup java setup is also done so if i click that jdk file i will get the jdk and it's already there in my d drive download for jdk so you will you will get a jdk file like that and if you click that it will start installing and i have installed my jdk in in my c drive program files so you can see that jdk is installed already installed here so also you need to set up the environment variable for the java or else it won't work so to set up the environment variable you need to go to your computer and properties and so it will open this kind of windows and you will go to the advanced system settings and you will have to go to the environment variable so here you have to add the environment variable called java underscore home so here you have to add like java underscore home and value will be your jdk installation file I already have added so I'll click on cancel also you have to add the path variable here so go to the path and click on edit and you have to give the path up to bin like that okay and also a restart might require so we can do a restart so uh, let's check whether java is installed in my computer or not you can go to the command prompt you can check java we can see that uh, java is already installed mm, okay now the next step is uh, uh, let's assume that uh, Jenkins uh, is installed and for my computer it's already installed so I kept that OR file in my computer and C drive Jenkins folder so this kind of OR file you will get after downloading that zip file and let's run the command prompt open command windows now let's run the command so it will start installing okay 
now we can see that Jenkins is fully up and running and this is my computer and so by default Jenkins will start uh, in uh, 8084 so here we can see like that Yeah, so here you can see that Jenkins server is already up. Okay, also you can give your machine name if you want. So I gave my IP address. Okay, so let's summarize what we, we have learned. So what is Jenkins? It's like a popular build server. And we can build the APK or uh, or any kind of .NET project or let's say any kind of iOS project. And what are, what are the prerequisites for Jenkins in installation? We need Java 7 or Java 8. And also we have to set up the path variable. And where can I find the Jenkins installation file? Uh, we can get it from jenkins.ci.org. And what is the common for and uh, to run the Jenkins, that is the java.jar and Jenkins.org. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank you.